and just please face me. Alrighty. Are we good to go? Um, Alan, can I please check my music first? Okay, can we stop that? Right. Time. Hi there, it's so good to be here. Over my years of competing, even as an Indonesian, I had my doubts in trying to serve our own coffee at the highest levels. The problem lies in generic tasting coffees that we have back home, due to the coffee varieties that we have, as well as the processing methods that we choose to do to them. All of them are geared towards high yield and fast turnovers. But I knew we could do something about this. And as the saying goes, if you want to see change, you be change. So I gather my own team of agents of change and together we spend years trying to make coffee that one day can shatter all of our doubts and prove us all wrong. And I'm happy to say to you that that day is today. So we're going to start with our signature beverage today to see what is possible. We're going to use coffee from the same Indonesian region. So I'll tell you more information about the coffee as we move along. For your signature beverage, we're going to use a traditional full wash Indonesian coffee. For now, let me introduce you to my team members that together are changing the Indonesian coffee landscape. The first member comes from the Microbial Biotechnology Unit at the Bandung Institute of Technology. This is in West Java in Indonesia. Together, we have determined three groups of microbiomes that can potentially change the way we ferment coffee. Today, they are represented by some dry ingredients in front of you that we will brew as a tea later on. Alrighty, now let's dig in. The first group of microbiomes comes from the genus of Bacillus. Now, Bacillus, they break down polysaccharides in coffee fermentation into oligosaccharides. And this makes for a creamier cup of coffee. Today, they are represented by dried honeysuckle for their ability to improve the tactile of our tea. The second group of microbiomes comes from the genus of Klebsiella. Now, Klebsiella breaks down pectin in coffee fermentation into monosaccharides, and this is great for sweetness. Today, they are represented by globe amaranth flower for their dried fruit qualities. Now the third group of microbiomes is perhaps the most interesting. They come from the genus of Pikia. Now Pikia is a yeast-like fungi and it has this awesome ability to create beautiful floral and fruit notes. And today they are represented by juniper berries and lavender in front of you. Now they created this beautiful fruit and floral notes by metabolizing available micronutrients, turning them into more volatile aromatic compounds, while at the same time producing less lactic acid. Judges, now I'm going to prepare the shots for your signature beverage. In the meantime, I will let you catch on with your note writing. All the relevant information are on the left-hand side of your box in front of you. Thank you. We are pouring four shots of your espresso as the base, made using 21 grams of coffee to 42 grams of espresso over these whiskey rocks. This is to cool them down slightly. We are also going to brew your dry ingredients using 100 grams of 80 degrees Celsius water to four grams of equal part of your dry ingredients to release all of its flavor. 
Now, while waiting for this to brew, we're going to move over here and create an inoculated espuma to improve the texture of our signature beverage. For that, we have a few different ingredients. First is a mixed berry reduction, made using equal part raspberry and blueberry, boiled over equal part water to sugar, and halfway through, we added 10% of aged balsamic vinegar to add complex sweetness inside our drink. Into this, we're adding two parts of tropical fruit reduction, made using equal part mango and snake fruit. Now, snake fruit is native to Indonesia. So if you haven't seen one before, there's one in front of you to see for your reference on the left-hand side of your box. Now, we made this in a very similar way to our mixed berry. But instead of balsamic vinegar, we added 10% lemon juice to balance the sweetness with the acidity. All right, now the interesting part. We are going to inoculate this mixture using 300 microliter of equal part bacillus, clepsiella, and pichia. Now these microbes, they thrive under anaerobic condition. So we are going to close this siphon, charge it with nitrogen to jumpstart the inoculation. This still takes a couple of days to finish. So we have a second set here ready for us to use today. All right, now we're going to build our drink. We're mixing the tisane with the coffee. This will provide the liquid base for your signature beverage. 44 grams of liquid base inside each of your glasses. We will then top this with 20 grams of our inoculated espuma. So just when you drink this later on, please drink in three sips, swirling before you take each sip to create a beautiful transformation of flavors. Now, on your first sip, you will get peach, as well as sparkling orange like orangina. On your second and your third sip, you will get grape candy and bergamot. All right, folks, you can enjoy this as soon as I serve them to you. Please go ahead and enjoy. This drink is so, so good. There you go. And that's yours. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, judges, now let's move on to our second course. This is your meal course. And please only assess the visual when I serve to you and wait for my instructions on when to enjoy it. Your milk beverage is being made with 20 grams of coffee to yield 34 grams of espresso in 140 ml cups to achieve a harmonious balance between the espresso and the milk that we are using today. The flavors that you'll get in there are roasted hazelnuts, vanilla, and chocolate coated orange. Now for this course, we ask folks like yourself on what they would like to taste in our Indonesian coffee. Turn out, they would like to taste more refined chocolate flavors, as well as some fruit sweetness to balance that. So we figured we could achieve this through post-harvest processing your second agent of change. You can see how we process this coffee in the middle section in the box in front of you. 
So we started by inoculating whole coffee cherries with a mixture of one part bacillus, one part Klebsiella, and 10 parts Spichia. This is to put a fruity fermentation precursor inside of our coffee. Please wait for my instructions. After we inoculated the coffee cherries, we put them inside a sealed 1,000 liter water tank to create an anaerobic environment, very similar to the way we process our coffee. We then let the fermentation continue until 3.8 pH, allowing us to have a lot of acetic acid present, giving us that cacao flavor that we want inside the cup. We then take the coffee out, we dry them for six weeks as natural coffee. And this long and slow drying is what's giving us the beautiful, fruity notes inside our coffee. Now judges, please go ahead and enjoy your milk beverage. Thank you. All right, judges, now let's move on to your final course. This is your espresso course. For this course, again, please only assess the crema when I serve to you and wait for my instructions on when to enjoy it. The espresso course is being mailed with 20.5 grams of coffee to 48 grams of espresso out in 91.6 degrees Celsius water to bring out all of its flavor. Now for this course, we process it slightly differently to your milk course. We started the same way, we used a very similar inoculants with a little bit more pitch in it. But we stopped the fermentation at 4.2 pH, allowing us to be right inside the malolactic fermentation window. Now this window conferred a harsh lactic acid into a softer and creamier version of itself. Now, this gives you a taste experience Please wait for my instructions. Of a soft acidity throughout, a medium plus sweetness, and a floral retronasal sensation of acacia flower, and a slight pleasant bitterness of cacao nibs. The taste that you will get in there are peach, plums. Thank you. as well as a tactile sensation of round viscosity with silky and velvety texture and a grape, break, grape finish with a flavor as well of pineapple. All right, folks, now it is time for us to meet our final and most important agents of change. They are the heroes of this story, the people who helped me create this coffee. They're the people of the Manggarai region in Flores in East Indonesia. Together, we process this coffee in a little town called Ruteng, which is surrounded by mountains where our coffees are from. The coffee that you are drinking is a Kartika cultivar, a Katimor hybrid that is very common back home. Left alone, generic. But as we know now, we can transform that with our methods. 
This year, through the work that we do in the region, we are directly affecting 700 coffee farmer families. I can only hope that through the platform that you have given me today and the work that we'll continue to do tomorrow, you and I will all be agents of change impacting many more lives in Indonesia and beyond. Now please stir your espresso 10 times using your left hand spoon. Please go ahead and enjoy, take three sips. That's my time. Gero yeah. from Mikhail Jassin from Indonesia. Well done. Woo. That was amazing. Thank you. So calm, so clear, so important. On the outside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can't see what's going on below. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I did. Actually, um, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's been a dream of mine to use full Indonesian coffee on stage. So cool. And after, I don't know how many years of competing, we finally have that confidence to, yeah. to do it. And three different processes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I personally, you know, harvested I was at the farm at the processing. We designed everything from the ground up. Andre, the uh, processor, is here as well with us. Amazing. So, yeah. Any thank people you, so you want much. to thank? Oh, the entire Indonesia. I think um, it's 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 crazy because everybody supported me, and it's been very humbling. Uh, everyone from the farmers, the baristas, cafe owners, government. It's. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. I want to I wanna cry now. An ambassador for change for <laughs> the entire of Indonesia. An agent of change. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But no, it's an incredible routine. We're going to talk more about the coffees in a minute. Sure. I really like how you crescendoed to the espresso course at the end of the routine. Yeah. What was the thought behind that? Well, in my previous years, I always start with espresso from somewhere else. Yeah. And then either a milk from Indo or somewhere else, and then finish with Indonesian coffee. And then we put a lot of sugar and everything to cover <laughs> it. Right, but then I think we've come full circle in a way that I can actually start with signature beverage, mm -hmm. with a washed coffee, yeah. put ingredients as a prototype for the espresso, mm -hmm. and then finish with an espresso as a finished product with nothing else added to it. I think that's one of the few wash processes, wash process coffees that'll be served this weekend. So yeah, pretty cool to have, yeah. and one of the few Indonesian coffees I imagine. So probably the only one. They, they appreciate you as well, clearly. <laughs> Thank you, um, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was an incredible routine, really, really well polished. Balsamic? Yeah. I'm really interested in. Yeah, well, it's, it started with normally strawberries and yeah, balsamic yeah. for yeah, dessert. Yeah. Uh, but we found, especially with... Oh, we're just going to say oh. thank you to your judges. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you so much, judges. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, with the coffee that we have as an espresso with yeah. all this. My, my espresso was an anaerobic natural coffee with a few different yeasts. Yeah. And it always have this, not, not quite umami in, in the soy sauce kind of sense, but- Yeah, just more ish. Yeah, not, not a simple sweetness. And I yeah. think like aged balsamic, especially the crema, which yeah. you have here a lot, is really great at replicating that. So yeah. yeah, we put it in. We're gonna talk more about your signature drink over there, but in the meantime, big round of applause for Mikhail. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Right, uh, this seat, if that's oh. all right. Want to be on camera. I, I, so can't, I can't let go of my um, timer. <laughs> <laughs> You're in time, I think. Uh, if you want to see change, you make change. Very inspiring. Was that, what, was that the exact quote? Yeah, yeah. So cool. I think uh, you've done exactly that. <laughs> so really impressive. Thank you. Um, I really like the feel of your routine. It's very upbeat, very positive. I think it's easy when you make an important message to be very serious but I felt yeah. it was very upbeat and organic. It must be something you're super passionate about. Yeah, well, well, first, I am normally not this cheery and happy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't no believe that. I can't normally, believe that. my presentation is quite serious and boring, yeah. but uh, a lot of the folks that helped coach me, my team, and Hide and Ori included, they wanted me to be happy. And Could We all work in coffee because we love coffee, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you can portray that on stage, I think that's really and important. I think Having this run and actually be involved from the designing steps of it yeah. and executing it and being able to present it in the world, uh, I, was, I was truly happy. Like I, if, yesterday, especially for the first time, I couldn't hide my smile because I was so excited to, to be here. I mean, I'm nervous and everything, but... Yeah, but when you believe in what you're saying, it's yeah, not easy yeah. to say genuinely, right? And how long was the process from the idea through to today? 
Oh. I mean, the real answer was 2018. So in Indonesia, you used to be able to compete with whatever. And then in 2018, they made it a rule that in the regionals, you have to use Indonesian coffee. Wow, I didn't know that. That's amazing. Yeah, which was amazing because back then, people were just being lazy and buy whatever expensive coffee they can get their hands on. But because of that, myself included, we started going to farms and yeah. basically, yeah, start trying to find coffees that were presentable, right? Yeah. Um, and it, it sort of started this this obsession of mine of, of finding one better coffees for competition. Yeah. But then through that process, we realized, uh, why don't we do this, you know, in, in, a, in a big scale, in a commercial This, this is the question yeah. I had. Is it going to be something you can translate to selling the coffee? Yeah, to, yeah. To so export? I think competitions are expensive, right? So we got to yes. fund this <laughs> uh, project somehow. Yeah. And for us, the only thing that allow us to do that is to produce this at scale. Yeah, that's fine. So we devised a way and hope, um, and thankfully we found enough people that can support us. And this year, the coffee that we have, yeah. we have 50 tons of it. Oh, so, perfect. Yeah, so Why do it, I buy it? <laughs> with, through me. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's, it's great because one, normally competition coffees, you can only find it, you know, for like, two days after cost because you only have 20 kilos of it. Yeah, this is so true. But yeah, our smallest lot size is 250 kilos. Amazing. So I think, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm so excited because it's, I'm, I'm feeling like this is going to be the start of, of the change in I Indonesia. I think whatever happens, you've won because you've made a genuine <laughs> change. You've yeah. got a tangible, you know, progress to be seen. So a trophy effort. would be nice. But a trophy would be nice, <laughs> but yeah, you can feel good whatever happens. So yeah. I think, yeah. um, that rounds us up for there. So, Thank you. big round of applause once more for Mikhail from Thanks Indonesia. Sir. Thank you. Amazing performance. And we are now going to pivot back to another All Stars video. Again, filmed through the pandemic when the All Stars weren't able to travel the world. So, we're going to move across to that now. And congratulations again.